Hello guys, I'm back with another new tutorial and today I will show you how you can make this infographic slide animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here. Now go to format and set the height to 1.88 inch. Now you have to change the color from shape fill and from shape outline select no outline press ctrl d to duplicate place it here press ctrl d two times more and then we have to change the color one by one so first select the element from shape fill changes color select the third element from shape fill i'm changing the color again and do the same for the last one after changing the color of these rectangles, we have to pick a parallelogram shape, place it here, drag this yellow dot to increase the angle, drag it from this side, go to format, from shape fill change its color and from shape outline select no outline. After that we have to pick a text box, drag it over this shape, here I am adding some sample text, selecting this text. Change the font to TWCENMT, increase the font size, make it bold, italic, change the color, make it center and then place this text box here. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate this text box, add some number, increase the font size and place it here. Now select only these three elements and press Ctrl G to group. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate place it here and press ctrl d two times more so here now we have to change the color of this text so that it matches with the background object here i'm just selecting the text and changing the font color this is really simple then again pick a rectangle shape i'll use this as a border so drag it over here go to format from shape fill change this color from shape outline select no outline and from shape effect select a bottom shadow. Now you have to make a several copy of this rectangle and place wherever it is needed. After adding all these border rectangles we will have something like this. Now select only this group of shapes and drag them to the left a bit. Again pick a text box, drag it over here, add some sample text, selecting the text change the font, size, make it bold, italic and change the color to white. Now make another copy of it. Here I'm typing some sample text. Decrease the font size. Increase the size of the text box. Selecting this two, press Ctrl G to group and place it in this side. Make another copy, place it here. Again pick a text box, place in this side. Here add some text increase the font size and place in the middle now from our previous slide i'm just copying this icon you can download these icons from flaticon.com for free i'll give the link in the video description now just select this two element and press ctrl g to group then press ctrl d to duplicate place it here in this way we have to add the other text boxes these are really simple steps that's why i'm doing it faster now you can simply change the number from here. So I'm changing these numbers and we are done with creating all the elements. Now we have to add the animation. But before adding the animation we have something more to do. So first select these four elements, right click on them and select bring to front. Again we have to select these border rectangles holding the control button, right click on them and select bring to front. Now we can add the animation. So first select this group of element, go to animation, click on animation paint to look over our animation status and for this first element select fly in animation. Then from effect option select from right, keep it on click. Now select this second element, select fly in animation again. From effect option select from left, keep this with previous. Now select the third element, select fly in again, from effect option select from right, keep this with previous and for the last one 
fly in again from effect option select from left and skip it with previous after that for this group of text boxes select fly in from effect option select from right keep on click for this group of element select fly in again from effect option select from left and keep this with previous now do the same for the second one first we have to add the fly in animation then from effect option set the animation direction here you can see that I'm using the same animation for this group of text box select fly in animation from effect option select from left keep it on click for the other one select fly in from effect option select from right keep it with previous for the last one select fly in again from effect option select from left keep it on click for the other one select fly in from effect option select from right keep this with previous and we are done now if you start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly you can download this template for free i've given the download link in the video description if you have enjoyed this tutorial make sure you like this video if you haven't subscribed our channel yet make sure you subscribe share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the time to time notifications from our channel hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching